So hello everyone, this is Akshay again and welcome to the GFG PUTH Freak of Day 1 and 2. So I hope you guys are well and good and are, and are learning and growing to and are maintaining your streak. So if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that we can learn, grow and maintain our streak together. So let's jump to the question and see what uh, what can be done to get over with it. So the name of the question is minimum times A has to be repeated such that B is a substring of it. So question itself is saying what we have to do here it's a medium category question okay so let's read the question and figure out how we can do it so given two strings a and b find the minimum number of times a has to be repeated such that b is a substring of it if b can never be a substring then return minus one so this question is actually seeming to be very easy so let us see the test cases so a is given as a b c d and the b is given as c d a b c d a b and the output is three saying that A needs to repeat three times, like A, B, C, D is three times, is it? A, B, C, D, and then again, there's an A, B, C, D, and again, there's an A, B, C, D, okay. So it is actually repeating three times, which, and then it's saying that B is a substring of it. So uh, B is not a substring of A when it is repeated less than three times, very obviously. So C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, is it available here? C, D, A, B, C, okay, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B. Okay, so that's the substring we have here, B as the substring of A. Okay, similarly for A equals to A, B and B equals to C, A, B. So the characters are still different in B and A. So no, no matter how many times you repeat it, they would never be equal, right? So what should be the intuition? So before going to the intuition part, the constraint is given as 10 power 3. So what can be done using this 10 power 3 thing? So if the constraint is given as 10 power 3, that means the maximum complexity you can code is n square, right? That will go to 10 power 6, which is less than 10 power 8. So it will be getting submitted if you are able to think in a solution of n square. And below you can do use any uh, complexity below n square, right? So this 10 power 8 logic I always explained in my video. If you if you do not know this, a video will be uh, flashing up there now. You can watch it. So let's get back to the question again. So shall we write this case and let us figure out is there anything that we were missing? So C D A B C D A B. If I calculate the length, it is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this one, two, three, and four. So they were saying that you have to repeat A B C D three times. So if I repeat two times, this was one time, right? And this is two times. So as you can see at this particular moment, at this particular moment the length is equal the length of a is equals equals to b now right right but as you can see the substring cannot be found in this case so what i did that i in i repeated the characters again because that was the only thing you can do and i checked it again that if this string is the part as a substring of our repeated characters so I can found this that it is present C A B right so that means I can infer that repeat repeat A until A is equals equals to B right until the length or or I can say until I can say like this until uh, I can just use a while loop here that until uh, let us uh, Store this string in a repeated string. Let's say string rep is equals to a, and we'll keep on doing plus equals to a, right? So while rep dot length is what less than b dot length, then you keep on repeating the characters, right? Because there is a threshold until and unless the characters are equal in both the strings. Then only we can start commenting about that maybe there is a possibility that this B character would be the substring of A, right? That is one possibility. But as you can see that when we at this point where the characters were equal, number of characters were equal, but still I saw that I may have to add one more time, right? So whenever I'm doing this thing, I will maintain a count plus plus, right? And I will check, I will check first time that when the characters were equal, if uh, like uh, what, if uh, B is substring of A, then in that case, I will just return my count. 
if that's the case in my first possibility but as you can see here the possibility is saying that i need to repeat third time also right so the second possibility from the dry run itself is saying that repeat repeat the one more time right and then i will check again that if b is substring of a now again if that's the case then i will return count plus one because i have repeated one more time here right and if does not fall in these two cases also it does not fall in these two cases also then i will simply say that it is not possible return minus one now why i'm not considering the third possibility where i'm again uh, repeating the number of characters in a because right so first was when the when the length was equal and second i was taking uh, one more set of characters right repeating again i'm not repeating it twice because as you have already crossed the threshold of that the characters were equal and then you have added already one more and if that's if the answer is not coming from this thing of adding adding one more case then it will not come from adding two or more right i hope this point is very clear to you you can you can see for yourself right so let's take a different example also so as of now our understanding is this regarding the pseudo code right so let us confirm this using one more test case so maybe uh, let us write here only okay so what should i take i can take i can take uh, let's take a simple case where um, i write this in a box okay where the a is actually pointing to a b c and b is actually pointing to b c a yes this this would be the perfect example okay so as you can see that a b c is already repeated once and as you can see the strength the length is already equal at this point so should we stop considering the another possibility no we must consider one more possibility right so so let us consider and see what the magic happens so a b c i consider one more possibility of this thing so i repeated the string twice and as you can see now the BCA has become the substring, right? Has become the substring. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm, great. Okay, so this point is actually correct. We have to repeat the characters in A until and unless we reach a point where they are repeated, the, the characters in which we are repeating the number of A is equals to the length of the B. This would be the condition and we will just increment our count or let's say this is our answer but let's say we, we we wrote it as count plus two so i hope this point is very clear to you and we should now jump to coding section but before jumping to the coding section what would be the time complexity hmm? what would be the time complexity to check if b is substring of a there is one built function in java that is contains right and this takes o of n complexity and what we were doing we were doing count plus plus we were incrementing the characters in repeated length so it would be like at max i'll be incrementing the b length right so it will be um, it will be what maximum it will be a cross b i guess we are incrementing the maximum b times and how many times we are incrementing until and unless it is equals to b right so if i write b into b or a into b it is same i guess right okay so b into b that will be 10 plus 6 and this o of n is work is parallel so 10 plus 6 plus 10 plus 3 so it will work so let's see mm. let's start coding it so what should i write first okay let me make a count first that int count is equals to zero i should make zero or one here i should make one here because what is happening the abcd is given and we have repeated just twice if you if you are seeing in this uh, explanation but they have counted as thrice because they were counting this initial string also as one so minimum possible answer would be one why am i saying that there may be a case where the both the string are exactly same right for that answer for that question it would be the minimum answer would be one so let's make a string repeated 
repeated and for for the first time let it point it to be a right and we need to let's say this is step two and we need to uh, uh, multi multiply mul uh, multiply this number of characters of a multiple times until and unless the length is less than equals to p dot length until unless the length become equal so till when we have to do this thing so in the while loop we will write the condition that if repeated dot length is less than b dot length then keep on multiplying it keep on doubling it or i say or i say keep on adding the a into this rep so i will say rep plus equals to a at the same time i will do count plus plus right right so as i said there is a function contains so i will say that if rep dot contains which one b right so if we have hit this case that means we need to return our count return count but if this would not have been case then we have to consider the second possibility let me write it as second possibility right and there we need to increment this rep as one more time as it is happening in our first test case as well as the test case the other test case i dry ran it for you okay so second possibility will be now i i will check it again that if rep dot contains b then return count plus one right and if it does not fall in in any of these cases that means return minus one it is not possible right so let us check compile and run for this case and we'll see for ourselves so b dot length i'm using string length so i need parenthesis for that because i'm calling a function so let's correct that mistake and compile and run again so perfectly it is running for this test case let me verify for the test case to which I dry run for you for the understanding. So it was what it was. It was uh, ABC, right? And I was comparing with the string with BCA. So let's compile and run. And if it is successfully compiled, then we will hit the submit button. That's great. So let's hit the submit button before we're hitting the submit button. So we'll discuss the time complexity. This is nothing but O of B. O of B. Right? Because uh, the string method, string contains method use one from Boyer's searching method algorithm uh, behind the scenes in GDK that contains, that takes the, uh, what? The time complexity of O of N. And here what I'm doing is, I am, I am mm, uh, doing rep plus equals to A, right? So that is, since we are adding it plus equals to a not in the string builder, that is it will take O of n time for appending. That means it is taking O of a time. And how many times I'm doing this thing until and unless the string length is equals to B. So let's say B. So I'm doing it B times, right? Because let's say if, if B would have only one character, right? Only one character. So, and A would have, let's say 10 characters, then I have to, uh, I have to all, oh no, I said it uh, reverse wise. So let's say A is having A, uh, A is having just one character, right? So let's say just one character and B is having as 10 characters, 10 characters. So I need to what? Do it B times, right? Do it B times 10 characters b times and i have to repeat uh, like we i have to add 10 times the single character of a in this repeated string like right? so yes finally it will be o of b into a yes that would be the worst case uh, so it will be o of b into a plus o of b it will take again and this is also contained since we're checking so it will also take o of b so overall time complexity if i just write it for you it will be also space complexity will be there of o of b right i'm making the repeated as equals to b and so it will be time complexity will be o of if i write it exactly then a star b b plus 2b 
and if I write the space complexity, it will be O of B because making we are making the repeated string as equals to the number of characters in B, right? Okay, and this is definitely less than 10 power 8. So it would be definitely getting submitted if I hit the submit button. So now let's hit the submit button and we will see for ourselves. Okay, so today's question was not very tough, I guess. Hmm, great. So our test case is passed successfully. So it was, I don't know why it was in medium. It would have been in the easy category. Okay, that's not the issue. So I hope you were able to maintain your streak with me as well. And if you're liking my content, the way of my teaching, so please like, share and subscribe so that we can make this video tomorrow again with the full energy and now with all the approaches, right? And with the detailed explanation. So the few last thing that that's my DSL repository, you can start and fork to get help with the source code, right? And that's my Instagram channel. You can connect to me for 24 into seven as well as on LinkedIn to get help for any guidance or any doubts if you may have. And thank you for showing this support. So we will definitely do well in the long run. And some of you must have been doing already well in this uh, while maintaining this week. So let's meet tomorrow in the next video. Till then, keep learning, keep growing and take care. Bye-bye.